Hi there! With my SketchCamp, you can design your own custom learning paths for your learners to build pathways to learning success. A learning path is an e-learning tool that enables individuals to progress at their own pace. Learners won't lose the thread that links diverse learning content together. Here's everything you need to know to create a learning path for your team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create a learning path for the onboarding of newcomers to your team. Go to your iCreate interface and to My Learning Paths. Click on Create a Learning Path in the upper right corner. Let's give this learning path a title. You can add a thumbnail image as well. This will always be shown to learners in the catalog. Click on the image icon on the right upper corner. Either upload one from your computer or use our image data bank. Set the language of the learning path. You can choose between French, English, Dutch, German or Italian. Set the duration of how long it takes to complete the learning path. This can be in minutes, hours or days. Choose the type of learning path. E-learning is learning online through the use of computers and the internet. Classroom training is learning that requires the physical presence of both teacher and instructor and learners. Blended learning is a combination of both. A webinar is a presentation that takes place on the internet, allowing participants in different locations to see and hear the presenter. MOOC is a massive open online course aimed at unlimited participation with open access. COOC is a corporate open online course for professionals and companies which are created, offered, produced and distributed by a private company. SPOC is a small private online course reserved for a small group of learners in a company. On-the-job learning is a form of training provided directly at the workplace. After choosing the type, add a description to your learning path. It's optional to set up conditions such as limiting the number of free registration places or sending automatic reminders via email. Select Create to set up your learning path. Now you're ready to add content. Click Add a content and you have four options to choose from. Select existing content, create an activity, plan an event or pin a link. First, we're going to add existing content to our learning path. Scroll through or filter for existing content that you've already created for the learning space or content where you are the collaborator. You can add both internal and external content from providers. Select the right content for your learning path by clicking on it so a checkbox appears, like so. Click on Validate to add the selected content to the path. Note that adding external content from third-party providers is only available with our Flex Option accounts. Contact us if you wish to upgrade. Now we are going to add an activity to our learning path. You can choose between the following activities. With a quiz, you can challenge your learners with multiple choice, true or false, or fill in the gaps exercises, and much more. Add a private and interactive discussion forum with discussion. Build your own custom page with a text editor by adding a content page. With media, you can share resources such as videos, images, documents, or web resources with your learners. Import learning content created from other platforms with SCORM. Host external content tools directly into the learning path with LTI. You can find more details about how to use these different activities on our Help Center and FAQ page. Let's go ahead with a multiple choice quiz. Click on Validate to add your activity to the learning path. You can move up or move down parts of your learning path by clicking on the arrow here. Now let's add an event to the learning path. An event can either be online or face-to-face. -face. Learn more about how to set up an event on our Help Center and FAQ page. Pin a link to add any resources and web links from the internet. This could be videos on YouTube, an article from Medium, or a podcast from Apple Podcasts. Let's add our latest MySkillCam podcast to this learning path. Copy and paste the URL, select if it's either a video, an article, or a course, 
and in this case, its author, then select the duration. Click Next. The title, the description, and the thumbnail photo might be pre-completed. Otherwise, you can always go in and change the fields and choose another photo from the media library. Click Next. Then select the skills that you want to link to this resource. Decide if your resource is for an introductive, beginner or intermediate learning level by hovering over the bars. Then continue with Validate. Between each content, you can add a transition to schedule when a learner gets access to the next content. Select Add a transition to get started. If this is the first transition in your learning path, you can decide when the learning path gets activated for learners. You can either choose a fixed date on which the learning path will start, or you can select the number of days after which the learning path starts when the learner registers. For every other transition between courses or activities, you can also select the number of days after which the previous step is completed. You can define the minimum score the learner has to achieve. Simply drag the slider to the left or right to set the minimum score. Click on Add a Transition. You are almost done creating your learning path. Go through your learning path again to make sure you didn't forget anything. Looks good? Here's how you can publish it to the learner's catalog. Click on Publish a learning path in the upper right corner. Decide in which camp or camps you want to publish your learning path. Know that you should make sure that content providers within your learning path are integrated into the selected camps. Select Next to go to the next step. Decide how a learner registers for your learning path, either by invitation only or both via the catalog through a self-registration or by invitation through an administrator. Select Next to go to the next step. Toggle on or off the notification option for managers. If you toggle on, managers will get notified whenever a learner registers for your learning path. If you toggle off, managers won't get a notification. Select Next to go to the next step. Here you will see a summary of the learning path options that you just choose. Select Publish to add your learning path to the learner's catalog. Well done! You made it! You successfully published your learning path.